You're live! Spider inside oh, of the building! Yeah, hell yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes! I love the fact that that we we thought that, you know, you guys thought that it was supposed to be on earlier, and I was only gonna be able to talk to one of you, and then because yep. an, an accident occurred, now we get the whole band. It's so much more kick-ass this way. It's the whole band! It's so much more kick-ass. <laughs> Guys, if you could please properly introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you're kicking it right now. Plug or promote anything you'd like. All right, I'm Kara. I'm the vocalist of Spider Insider. Maybe you're so cool. Should Ian. I go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Ian, and I play the drums. Uh, my name's Kyle, and I uh, play the guitar. My name's Chris, and I slap the bass. <laughs> I think if you just leave it, I think if you just leave the mic in the middle, we can we can hear everything. You don't think you have to move it? Oh, okay. oh sweet, sweet. Sweet. yeah, just make it a lot easier. And you guys are in Tampa, correct? Tampa, Florida. Correct. Yeah, Tampa, yep. St. Pete. Yep. Hell yeah! I'm actually originally from West Palm Beach, but I lived in Florida for 23 years. I'm in California now, but uh, I used oh, to nice. live over there. But uh, hell yeah! Appreciate you guys uh, stopping by, hanging out with us, partying. Uh, the the single that just came out is freaking fantastic, but. We've been a fan for a really long time, so we've been jamming you since the Peachy days. Obviously, that's oh, the, the, obviously wow. the first question I, I want to ask is why the why the rebrand, and how did you come up with the band name? Um, so mainly for the the rebrand was kind of like we felt like our music wasn't consistent enough, um, because we had songs like Mister Gloom, which is very like uh, chill, like. Kind alternative. of alternative, yeah. And um and then we had other songs that were like super heavy. So we kind of wanted to like we didn't really know our sound yet. So I feel like Spider Insider is like us condensing everything that we love to do in one thing. And I think it just makes more sense now. We wanted to make it more consistent. Was there what what were some other like Obviously, that band name is awesome, but what were some really terrible band names that you almost picked in, instead of that one? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie, actually. Oh, my Watch God. Watch out, there's snakes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, doll, doll Face was one. Doll, doll, face doll, was we tried one. to go with Doll Face. Doll Face still would have been cool. It would have been cool. Somebody else. I like Watch Out, There's Snakes. Yeah, we tried to do Watch Out, There's like, Snakes. The exclamation point, so it's kind of seen. Yeah, but it was, <laughs> it was like too close to Watch Out, There's Ghosts, so yeah, we were like, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Um, but Spider Insider came from actually um, the band uh, Secret and Whisper. Okay. And they have a song that's called uh, Spider Beside Her. And I saw that song and I was like, what if it's Spider Inside Her? So it's like, kind of like goes with the whole feminist thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> so it kind of went with the whole like, you know, we we talk a lot about like, women's issues in society and everything so i felt like that kind of fit with us does does anyone ever think if you say it real fast does anyone think you're saying spider and cider yes and actually oh we have a friend who made a cider that yes. said spider inside her yeah she made, cider cider she made like a that. candle that was like spider inside her but That's it was sad. like yeah, it was like cider, 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 cider yeah, yeah, cider like flavor. <laughs> it so it was, yeah, it was cool. <laughs> for, or for, we also that we sound like uh, it comes from Spider Man. Oh yeah, yeah. we always get that. Yeah. <laughs> we're a Marvel. Band. We're a Marvel. We're a Marvel band. band. <laughs> for for bands that may be watching or see this interview uh, later on, uh, can you just talk about the process of how complicated it is to do the rebrand as a name? Like, how complicated is that whole process? Um, honestly, it wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't that complicated. Um, we just had to make new socials and stuff, but like the people that really liked Peachy, they ended up following us regardless. Um, but it was really just like constant promotion on, um, the Peachy page to be like, come over to our other social medias. And, um, luckily we got a lot of people, a lot of people over there. Yeah. So Facebook, like it Facebook would wouldn't let you change the URL and just keep every, all the followers. You actually had to move them. Yeah. So we didn't actually keep 
the original peachy pages. We just made new social medias. Um, so just making a new Instagram page, making a new TikTok page and all of that. Um, and then just promoting on peachy's page saying like, Hey, we're switching over and all of that. And they, they ended up doing it. So it, that was mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Uh, Mac attack is my co-host today. Mac, what question do you have for the band? What's um, up, Mac? <laughs> how's it going um when it goes back to like the peachy days and everything do you guys still play any of those when you perform live I think we might with do spider that. insider so yeah. yeah yeah i think what we're gonna end up doing is um we have a, a song called Eat and, Die, and it's a very like short heavy song that will probably end up incorporating in the live show. so it'll probably be like an intro into the show, into the set. Um, but other than that, I don't think we're going to be playing a lot of music. For sure. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's let's show, show you guys uh, what we're talking about here. Let's play a little Spider Insider. Vampires can smell when you're on your period. Period. Yeah. I said it. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> The, the interesting thing I noticed is when I when I jammed the whole uh, the three songs that are right here, they're all different, and I feel like this is the heaviest one of which I kind of got some Paramore vibes on some of the other ones. Do do people ever compare more you guys to them sometimes? All the time. All oh the my time. God, all the do you time. hate that or is that a compliment? Because it's a compliment. I'm trying to give you a compliment, but I can understand it gets annoying. A lot of times yeah. it's like, uh, yeah. it's like, oh, you sound like Paramore, but with this and this and this. So it's like, oh, we don't sound like Paramore. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it wasn't like an idea. We didn't go in trying to be like Paramore. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think what it is is we get mixed, like, uh, comments with that because it's like, they're like, oh, you sound like Paramore, and it's like, is it only because I'm a female singer, or is it because we actually sound like Paramore? I think you, you actually I mean? do on like one or two songs. Okay. I, Definitely I the not the one we yeah, just played. Definitely not vampires, but like maybe a little bit on, on bad vibes. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Well, they were a really big influence on me like as a kid. So I can see why that would be a thing. Um, she was, I mean, Haley Williams is like a huge inspiration to me. So that's probably why. <laughs> let's actually ask that question. Let's go around and, and let's go back to the high school days. What CD is just burning a hole in your car? You're 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 in the car just screaming your ass off to this this one. You're you're at home trying to figure out how to play this riff from this guitarist. Go, let's go around the room and just name like this is your favorite album when you were growing up. Um, for me, I would I want to say Paramore, but I'm gonna say um, I set my friends on fire. Hell yeah! Because I. Yeah, I love that band, and I think we have a lot of influence from them as well. Um, so for me, it would be it would be that album. Yeah. Whoever else wants to go next. All right. Well, I am a Mashuga nut. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the Mashuga brutal. Is my all-time favorite band. Uh, if you can't tell by the age string that I play. Um, but like, aside from that, I just like pretty much anything like grindcore and and all that stuff. Um, I'm into that kind of stuff. That's cool. I can dig it. Yeah, mine um, main inspiration on drums was Joe Arrington for a lot like Birds. Um, no Place and Conversation Piece were probably my two most trying to play albums, and I will emphasize trying. <laughs> <laughs> so spent many hours on those. <laughs> We had Kurt on a long time ago, and we barely talked about a lot like birds. It was a lot of dance cab and stuff, and and Royal Coda. Really, yeah. But but I should have talked more about that because I, I only got to see them once, uh, back yeah. in the day. I got I to see think, them once as well. Yeah, me too. I think yeah. that's his best project. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's yours, Chris? Uh, got a phenomenon by Every Time I Die or Hot Damn. Mm. One of the two. Yeah. Probably always on rotation when I was like fifteen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I do want to do some trivia with you before we play a second song. Uh, hopefully we brought some hot sauce. We do. So we have a hot sauce. Yeah! Here. What is that? The oh, skull of death. That. That's a lot yeah. of hot sauce, first of all. It's, That's it's cool. called Just Like Fire Hot Sauce. And apparently it's super hot. So I'm really scared to do it. But we're going to do it. 
So, so we, the, have a, we have a shot glass of it here. So. <laughs> you guys rule. I appreciate you being uh, being awesome and just, just doing that. But uh, the cool thing is you get to pick the trivia. What okay. movie or TV show? You can only pick one. one. Have you guys seen the most? I'm going to give you a second to discuss which one have you seen the most. Where if I ask you trivia about this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Bad vibes, bruh. <laughs> All right, all right. I love Spongebob. In my experience, don't go TV show. There's there's so many episodes. You pick Spongebob, there's 500 episodes. But you pick a movie, it's a two-hour trivia. I can only ask some of those. You guys want to do a movie? That's fair. What do you guys think? Uh, uh, sure. I don't, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. And Glorious Bastards. I know. I, love, I, know. Shit. I watched that movie. But Me and Kyle answer everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, I don't know. Movie wise? Well. Are we trying to do movies? <laughs> okay, look. I feel like we'll be good at The Office. Yeah, but he said it, no TV. No, no, no. You can pick whatever you want. You can. Pick I'm just, one, yeah. I'm just oh. suggesting. Except for Ian will be bad at it. That's okay. That's I'm fine. fine. Can, can we do The Office? Absolutely. Give me a second. Uh, Mac, throw out another question. Let me look up some office trivia. I want to okay. do the office. I don't know, because like I've read through the question. <laughs> might be like really like specific. They probably <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I might be able to help because I've asked Brooklyn so many questions about it. Do you uh, guys have any like pre jam or pre concert rituals like before you do a show or before like to warm up? <laughs> Yes, we do. we drink a bottle we of honey drink jack a lot and of watch some white claws. And then we come to you halfway through the set. Yeah. And we go, oh, we're playing a show. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's entirely true. We that definitely have totally true. We're me and Kyle, and we yeah. don't and we don't let Chris drink because he talks too much. Yeah. I talk it's a rambler. <laughs> I think our ritual is um, taking a shot of vodka. Or not a shot of vodka, a shot of uh, fireball. 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 Yes. Do you have oh, fireball fire right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. I have I have some it. whiskey. I'll I'll join you in a shot if you're down. Let's go. Let's get a shot of fireball. All right. All right. Well, why not? Uh, right, while while, while you grab it, while you grab it, here's your trivia. Okay. In the office. In the office. What is the name of the television show that Michael made an appearance on as a child? Michael made an appearance on a television show as a kid. And he shows this this show to the office in the Take Your Daughter to Work Day episode. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know that episode, but I don't remember. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> 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 Shit. It's good morning, America. <laughs> um, That's the not TV our show? Answer, do you? Do you think? Our assistants. Thank you, thank you assistants. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yo, I want the Buffy's glass. <laughs> That's Cody's glass. Are you I, kidding me? Do you guys know? I don't know. No, no. I know I the show. I think we got him. We did as an adult. I think you guys got us on that one. Yeah, for sure. Mm. That is a stump. Cheers on on the alcohol, and then enjoy the hot sauce. We're gonna play right, some more music. I do the alcohol first, <laughs> and then we'll do the shot. Yeah, it's fun to suffer while we keep asking questions. That's the fun of it. That's really good. No, it's spicy. Yeah. Don't drink the whole thing, Kyle. That's, good. That's hot. That's good. <laughs> Way to be troopers, for real. Way to be That's troopers. That's really hot. Who uh, who produced? Uh, go. Did you go to a different pr producer for for Peachy versus Spider? Um, we yeah. did. We yeah. did. Yes and no. Well, <laughs> we did yes and no. Um, so really a lot good, of actually. a lot of our. It's really guys, good. I'm trying to talk here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so a lot. Of, <laughs> A lot of our, like half and half of our um, peachy music, uh, well, I guess not half, most of our peachy music, I no. recorded myself, and then we sent it to um, a producer in Orlando, um, Logan Plow, and, and he, mixed, he mixed and mastered it for us. Yeah. Um, but J-O-I, we went to um, 
Andy. <laughs> how do you pronounce his last name? Andy. Karpovka. Karpovka. Andy, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, Karpovka. he's yes. We he's went to him him. and uh, recorded everything for <laughs> JOI um, for Peachy, and we went back to him and did Spire Insider. Yes. So all three, all three of, of them with him. Andy. Hell yeah. Yes, I'm, yeah, I went to Andy. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me the worst show you guys have ever played. Everything went wrong at this particular gig. I can't drink. And go. It happens to every band. It happens to every right band. <laughs> this is it. This is I actually, we're living it. I don't know if we have like a worst. <laughs> so we show. only played. PG only played two shows. Yeah, correct. and each show was pretty good. I mean, the second show we, the first show we played was great because we had we we. Booked it ourselves, and we we booked bands from the local area that we loved, um, and it was it was really fun. We all everyone in the venue was drunk, including us, <laughs> and it was just a great party. Um, the second show was a little bit more. It was fun. It was weird. It felt yeah. we, we're very not used to professionalism because we are um, not quote unquote professionals, but we are, but we're not. And- <laughs> And uh, so it, it felt more tense, and I think that was just like it was a little less fun for us. But it was still I, a show really that we fun. had. We had yeah, fun. Still a good show. Yeah, we I had think fun the only performing. thing. Yeah, that's gone wrong. But was... it was just weird because we were just yeah. like, oh shit, everyone's very serious here, and it, it, yeah. it was a little. Yeah, it was just a little weird because everybody there was very like serious and um, like they wanted a certain like image of themselves, and we are not. Yeah, that like band, you know, we like we a, just want to drink and hang out and have yeah. fun. And it was just, yeah, it was a weird show. A little, for sure. little weird. Like, well, and I, our backtracks cut out halfway through the show. Oh, our backtracks did cut out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't we remember. Fixed it. We did fix we it. We did and fix it. It. <laughs> it was great. Yes. Also, um, I feel like a good way to put it is like, we take what we do seriously, but we don't take ourselves seriously. Yes, exactly. Like, we'll, we'll play a set great. But we don't, we're not like, I, I felt like it really was really spicy. Yeah, it was spicy. Um, yeah, so next question. <laughs> you put a little dent, you put a little dent into the skull, I can tell too. Nice work. A little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're we, well, we poured it into the shot glass, so we're drinking out of that. But Hell yeah. Shout out to the assistants, by the way, who were absolutely holding it down in the background with the milk and uh, all the other yeah, things bringing, required to pull this off. Over. They got yes. everything. I got, I got one more office trivia. We'll see if we can get you that wheel spin. Now, here's the thing. We've had other people on the show that have a- asked for office trivia, and I always ask this next question. Everyone thinks that they know the answer, and they blurt it out right away, and seven out of eight of them have been wrong. Oh, oh I'm fuck. In the we office. Got- who actually started the fire in the episode? Oh, right. oh. Think yeah. about it. Think well, about it before you answer. People you think know, it's Ryan. People think it's Ryan. No, it was Ryan. Because well, yeah, the song is Ryan, Ryan started, started the fire, but it's not Ryan. Ryan didn't start the fire. Ryan didn't start the fire? Didn't start the fire. Didn't right. start the fire? No. What did they put? Tinfoil in the But he said oven? that because he's making fun of it. Right? Yes. Am I, am I crazy? Wait, what are you talking about? Because Ryan, Ryan, Ryan started the fire. But he it says was... that because it's hilarious. Right? No, but he... Ryan did start it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. Ryan did. Not on purpose. Didn't he burn it? He did on accident. Yeah, yeah, he brought like a, a slap bread or something. I thought I thought Dwight right. was the one. That I think Dwight did it. I swear to God, maybe maybe I don't know. I want to say Ryan, but <laughs> but the I fact like... that everybody blurts and gets it wrong is making me sick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think, I think it was Dwight. I think it was Dwight. Too. Let's say Dwight because I think he blamed it on Ryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's say Dwight. Wrong. <laughs> you you was overthought it, it. It totally was Ryan. It would totally. Everyone thinks it's it Dwight. Ryan. Everyone thinks it's Dwight, but it is absolutely Ryan. He, or he's, he's, I said it was Ryan. he puts a pita yeah. in the toaster oven. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He, he did it in the. Yeah. Maybe Dwight yeah. thought it was him. Hang and on. He, we knew that, but we, we second knew guessed that. It. But we we'll, give it that. we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. We'll pretend you said Ryan and give you this bit. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said Ryan. I knew it was Ryan. Yeah, it was Ryan. All right. It looks like I am joining you in the hot sauce. Yes. So I have a plethora right here. I'm gonna pick the eighth one. This one, this one's really not that hot though. It's intense. 
Intense Garlic number five. It's very mild. So I got off easy on that one. But, It'll um, be the hotter one. Coral Blue 42. <laughs> <laughs> If, if if all of a sudden a label's like, here's here's all the money you could ever ask for, we're going on a world tour, A, who would be your your di direct o directly opening for this artist? Who would that be? And where in the world is the most, you're circling on the calendar, we're playing here this day. This is my most look forward to country I wanna play. Interesting. Oh man. I have a cool question. So I would say, I want to play the UK mm. really bad. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Australia. Well, that's not you, the UK. Or, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Wait, okay. <laughs> let's start over. Let's start over. Start I think that was very separate. similar accents, but. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> don't, don't get that way with me. Um, it's like the same accent. What First, would be? I'll die in the hill here. I'm did, just game. I'm did, retracting. Did they ask the? Uh, <laughs> did you ask like the band we would play with? Yes. Or okay. yeah. So so you're directly opening for this band on on a tour, but simultaneously also, what what country are, are you most excited to play? I want to open for Blood Command in Australia. Yes, dude. I've never even heard of that band. Who is? They're that? they're not a huge band, but I am they're obsessed so with them. They're I like, actually don't know who that is either. So um, it's a good. it's a female vocalist, and she's they're fucking amazing. And I would totally do an Australian tour with Blood Command because they're from Australia, and I would I would love that. What about Let's you guys? Yeah. yeah, I would love that. That was the Mar Marmosets. The Marmosets would be sick. This is them right here on the screen that uh, that I'm looking at. Uh, I don't know. Is it them? I can't, I can't see. Tell. It's a it's a female fronted and it's called Blood Command. I'm, I'm thinking it yeah. might be the right thing. Likely. That's yeah. Probably them. Yeah, yeah, that's them. They have like a like a really colorful. Yeah, that's them. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check something out a little bit later on in the show. They're amazing. Yeah, they're they're great. They're I would love really to tour good. with them. They're not a huge band, but they're, they're one of my Horizon favorites. Soon. Yeah, they're playing with Dream of the Horizon at um. One of the festivals they're at in, uh, australia. in australia yeah wow yeah i would love to play with them in australia That'd that's be a big deal yeah so yeah. so australia or the uk is kind of the general consensus oh, yeah. answer well, would would love to do that well you don't like japan yeah. i like japan but name three japan <laughs> name three japan band. <laughs> okay but yes australia or the uk <laughs> i'll take it or japan those three answers work uh, we only have time for for a couple more questions, Mac. I know you're you're itching to ask something. Uh, what is your question? Um, since switching from Peachy to Spider Insider, has it been the original lineup, or was there lineup changes with the name change as well? Original same lineup. Same. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Same nice. Guys, these guys. Excellent. Yeah. These weirdos. These yeah. Weird. <laughs> I hate, I hate these weirdos. These weird. <laughs> We're weird. I don't even know where I am. That's I, why we like them. <laughs> I got a fun fun one and then a serious question. That's my final question. The fun one is, let's say we're at Australia. You just played with Blood Command and Bring Me the Horizons right after you. There's 30,000 people you just played for. So tonight of all nights, we're partying a little bit harder than normal once, once you, the gig is over. Who is the last person in the band standing? Uh. <laughs> Ian, for sure. Yeah, it's for sure. It's, it's, it's me. definitely. Yeah. It's, yeah. I would probably say it's me, That's and then be no. done first. Yeah. No, 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 I'm no. saying I would say it's me, and then be done first. You would yeah, be for yeah. sure. I yeah. think it'd be Ian for sure. It'd be him. Yeah. It'd be Kyle, me, Kara, Ian. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Me and Kara would party. Me and Kara. Yeah. 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 Me and Ian would party. We, we go to bed at like 8 p.m. Literally. Eastern, they are, they Eastern are not time. partying. Right. Same people. No. When we were when we were recording in the studio, um, we had an Airbnb there. And I wanted to hang out with them every night, and they yeah. would literally go to bed at eight o'clock, and I would just, no. I would just sit there and right watch. Right when it hit eight o'clock, yeah. they're done. Yeah. I would just watch yeah. YouTube yeah. until yeah. Yeah, yeah, one a.m. But like they were so boring. Disclaimer: At two a.m., he'd be like, "Let's go to CVS." I don't want to do that at two a.m. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> watch the CVS with me. At two a.m. Why would I want to go to CVS? That's well, better time to go. It's the best time of the day to go. I Exactly. exactly. Think fire. of all the things you can get there. Right. right. Bonus, bonus question: yeah. Are are any of you cannabis users? Smoke weed every day. Give us what? What?
cannabis, the ganja, the devil's lettuce, marijuana. Oh, oh. <laughs> that could that can probably tell you that we're not. Yeah. <laughs> we partake when yeah, we, uh, yeah. we partake on occasion, on but occasion. we are we're mainly drinkers. we're mainly drinkers. Yeah. It's all good. No worries. No worries. Where are you guys based on? Where are you guys based on? <laughs> what, do you live in California or something? So Florida Florida has like the med card though, right? You have to go and get like yeah, a license yeah, from the doctor. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, but I'm not trying to get a med card to do Do you have that. a med card? <laughs> Shut up, Chris. I do not have I one. You know I, I've actually heard too that, it, that in Florida, right they now. have like limitations where... If, if if like if you get your 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 med card and you go to the clinic you're only allowed to buy so much stuff in a month yeah mm -hmm. what yeah. the that's very true. it's very weird yeah but that's, apparently the men, uh mar the mar men marriage of one out here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that i would know um <laughs> apparently it's crazy strong Let's that's what I heard. Exactly. Our, so we've, it's what we've heard. We've heard this. Our are aware. Can we clear, yeah. can we clear up that they're not our assistants and they are our friends? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're our assistants and we've hired them. And we no. don't have assistants. We don't have assistants. No, we, we have assistants. Why are you being uh, what are you being weird for? <laughs> <laughs> He's just embarrassed to say that we hired them. It's fine. We hired them. My, uh, my final question is actually a pretty serious one. I asked just about everybody we have on the show this final one. What is a, a piece of musical advice? Maybe you played with a, a bigger band at some point in your career and, and they were like, hey, I just want to tell you guys this, blah, blah, blah. And it was an eye opener for you or a terrible mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want a band that's just starting up right now to make. Wait, I got this first. Um, Dude, he knew. I'm going to say, um, don't think that you're more important than you are. Yeah. Um, that is one of the biggest things um, me, opening for me and Kyle, our guitarist, used to be in a band together. And we played for, um, we opened for Die Artist Murder. And with them, we thought that we could kind of go into playing with them, the VIP section, and watch them from above. And we ended up getting kicked out of there. And it's not a good look, I will say. So that's the main thing is just don't think that you're you're bigger or you're more important than you are and kind of keep that you get it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. But so yeah. our our band is uh like this band and we have our uh, us the other three have a band called Illuminate Me and we're very stage presence oriented. Mm -hmm and also very out of shape so it's hard um <laughs> what do you mean but but um, <laughs> in, in our, at least me but in our other in our other band too we did we did play um with the chariot once and i talked to stevis uh, about um like how how do you like do you know they do all the crazy guitar shit and like throw them around and swing them around and like how do you do all that and like still play your parts because i would die and he's like, it's literally practice like 95% of your free time so that you don't have to think about it when you play it. Mm -hmm. So it sounds dumb to say practice, but like practice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say, never mind. That's good advice. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, right. Yeah. One final, final, final. Final question. What can we expect from the band uh, in 2023? Is What are you allowed to tell us? Sometimes there's stuff set up that you can't tell us for promotion reasons, but what are you allowed to tell us that uh, is happening in 2023 for you, for you guys? We got signed to a giant label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That is not true. <laughs> We're going on a Why world, is this funny? Hold We're on. going on a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> We're touring right. Australia with Blood Command. Right. Why is this? <laughs> Wait, hold We're on. being serious. We're being serious. Uh, I'm serious. Honestly, are we the in 2023? Um, I don't really think yeah, we're going to be playing. More. No, I we're didn't gonna, tell more. <laughs> we're we're going to be playing live a lot more than we did before. Um, like we said with Peachy, we only had two shows in the entirety of Peachy's existence. A huge um, label. Can we're going to be we're going to be playing a lot more, and with that, um, we will be playing different. Uh, and counties have, and states and we, things like that. Oh we probably, I'm going to say, will be looking to, to record an album. <laughs> um, we have a huge 
label looking at us. He's huge. <laughs> We are, are we are talking East Coast. They are, we are talking. In the spring. Big, We're talking. Big old label. Bigger than Sony. Bigger well, than Universal. Big old fat label. 12 inches. Yeah. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> and they are they are looking to penetrate looking every to part penetrate of our penetrate every part. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, like. No, they, we have a fat label trying to penetrate us right now. Like, trying to penetrate big, okay. big, Big fucking label trying to penetrate yeah, us. And they want to use our, they, <laughs> they, they won't because we are. They won't because we are sewn up. Yeah. We have our holes sewed up. We don't do they that. They want to use our band for We the have our bands. holes sewed up. Who has our holes sewed up? We, no. All right, let's we answer have, the question. We have I our, am. <laughs> I'm telling them. I'm telling them. I'm sorry. We have our holes sewed up. We're not, <laughs> we're not letting a big ass label so in. Why? Because <laughs> we don't like that shit. Because yes. you know what? They can take their giant. They can take their giant twelve-inch label dick and shove it up their ass, cause we don't want it. That's, you want? That's the truth. You put it up their own <laughs> three-inch asshole. It's probably three inches. You guys, you guys want to do one more shot before we call it a day? <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. I, I, I interview bands all the time, and a lot of times they're really serious. They're really serious, and they're and they're straight. They're they're just you know they answer the questions. They look right at me. and They're like, next question, and we're we're having a good time. Wait, are we doing more interview? Right, next no, question. No, no, no. More interviews to come. Shit, Listen, like, we. They said shot. We like need half. more shots for this Assistant because. Oh, thank you, Miranda. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. She is our. Ask us she may the record reflect that this is Big a full shot. Let the record show. <laughs> That we don't care about labels big ass dicks. No. Okay. Will... Because, really? But if they're on the record. Dick, I, I but if the label it. has a small dick, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We can put it in no. there. No. Labels dicks are big, <laughs> but they're short. <laughs> oh, Cheers. So, okay. Gotcha. Exactly. I can't. <laughs> Cheers. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. You guys have a you guys have a fantastic afternoon. I appreciate you, um, ladies and gentlemen. Spider and Cider, if you're if you're watching and you and you enjoyed it, please hit the follow button. Support them on Spotify. Support them wherever you can on on Facebook, Instagram, all the above. I found you and followed you on Twitter today, uh, before we before we did this. So I followed on Twitter. You do, you do. I followed it. He doesn't know anything. I don't know anything. But hell yeah! But I don't know what our next show is. Thank you all so much, though. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are welcome back anytime. I would totally party with you in real life. It seems, it seems like a, a lot of fun for sure. And uh, I'll bring the ganja. You bring you bring the fireball. Yeah, you guys are so much fun. I really appreciate you. If you move back to West Palm, I would kiss you. Yeah. And Ian won't be in the I'll hold you to it. I'll be in West Palm next week. So I'm looking for a smooch. I'm looking for a smooch. Call us. Call us back. I'll holler. Ladies and gentlemen, Spider Insider! Have a great night. <laughs>